Well, first up, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. You're welcome. So tell us, what have we got here? We've got uh, an exciting new art display we call ASCB Squared, the Art and Science of Cell Biology at the American Society for Cell Biology. And we're highlighting the work of a variety of artists, nine of them this year for this first prototype show to try and bring some of the fascinating imagery that's done, been done over several decades with um, a variety of interesting technologies to the public as well as to the ASCB community to, to inspire new interactions. And tell us a little bit, I mean, you've got quite a wide variety of different media going on here, haven't you? Yeah, it's interesting. We have, we have some pieces uh, from 1971. We, um, Frank Armitage is a Disney artist. Originally, he did some of the background paintings uh, on uh, several of the more famous movies. Um, and he, really, so we've got a Disney artist here. We do, we do. Disney Disney artist turned uh, turned scientific illustrator. And in 1971, he did a series for Life magazine where he used a lot of the techniques and technologies he had learned as a background artist, um, such as painting on multiple layers of glass and photographing each layer of glass independently so he could manipulate the colors individually to get these beautiful pieces here. Uh, all the way up through uh, David Goodsell's watercolor paintings where each one of these thousands, tens of thousands of molecules on this tall strip is drawn by pencil, uh, painted in watercolor, outlined in pen and ink wow. to produce these amazing... How long would that have taken? Um, some of his smaller ones he can do in a few days after doing several weeks worth of research right. to get the science correct and I think some of the bigger ones he'll spend up to a couple of weeks on. Um, and of course more modern pieces including uh, some that were illustrated using traditional drawing techniques but with digital media like Photoshop using pressure sensitive drawing tablets all the way to some of the famous animation work of Drew Barry who um, is now a MacArthur uh, MacArthur Fellow, um, the, the proverbial genius grant, and we have some of his work shown and it's static here but we have little codes and URLs that people can scan so that on their smartphone or, or iPad they can see the actual movie in real time. So how can delegates here uh, get involved? How can we have, we have several other activities, correlated activities going on. Um, for example, this is the eighth year of uh, the cell dance that the ASCB puts on where the scientists themselves can enter a contest to, to win some prize money put on by John Fleischman of ASCB. There'll be an award ceremony for that tomorrow. We're giving guided tours to explain a lot of the detail of the artwork shown here. Um, we have a workshop this afternoon that uh, my co-curator Janet Iwasa and I and another uh, Nature Methods article writer Bang Wong will be hosting to, to teach some of the tools that were used to create these types of images to the scientists themselves to teach them animation and to teach them basic principles of visualization that they can use every day to improve their figures for their papers for example. And lastly we have um, some website information that people can use as a resource. And one more exciting thing is a contest uh, that is starting today. It's one that my lab is hosting along with uh, Art Olson's lab at Scripps to allow scientists and artists to, to unite in one place where their challenge is to visualize a large model in 3D of HIV floating in human blood serum. And there's a tremendous amount of prize money available for that from outside parties. And you're also trying to get the public involved, aren't you? How about that? We are, yes. Um, the, this, this gallery experience stemmed from uh, an experience I had with the president of the ASCB this year, Ron Vale. We did a gallery talk at Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I was invited to join him as the artist in residence where they hung these large pieces of art that we see behind us. In a, in a modern art gallery, um, a, a small cozy setting, and the public would come in, either art lovers who saw the advertisement or people walking in off the street, and they would engage in fascinating conversations with the biologists who were drawn to the subject matter as well. So it was a real opportunity for outreach to a public that was engaged instead of um, being forced to sit through a kind of a lecture type format. They were asking questions in a very comfortable setting. So. Well, thank you very much indeed. I'm, I'm sure everyone's going to love it, so thank you. Thank you.